Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with a project pan finale. This is my Fire and Ice project pan, and I will have the intro and updates linked down below along with the other lovely ladies that joined in. This was my very first, like, themed project pan that I've ever done, and I was excited for the opportunity. I think I did okay. And yeah, I'm going to show you how it all turned out. So if this sounds like something you'd like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right, where to start, where to start. So first themed project pan, it's hard. Themed project pans are hard. I like to look at them for, uh, you know, it's products used, maybe not used up, but maybe more used than would have normally used if that makes sense. So the first up we're going to talk about is this palette. This is the NYX Avent Pop. This one is an art throb. I really enjoy the quality of these shadows. I've talked about this a lot. Um, I was trying to work with this orange shade and this white shade. I did talk about, I think in my second update, how I used this as a blush and this as a highlight, and I even had it on in that video. Uh, I I used them a little bit. There's like a little, tiny, tiny, tiniest dip in this orange one, and there's not really a dip in the white one, but you can see where I did use it. Um, just not everyday colors, and then I found with it being, um, like using it as a blush and highlight, it's, you can't get consistent pigmentation, so sometimes it would look great, sometimes it would be like, too too much like sometimes this highlight looked perfect and other times it was too stark so anyways having this sit out on my vanity for four months which is crazy I did get more use out of it than I would have normally gotten out of it um especially like this burgundy color there's a dip in it you can see so yeah I really love this palette I didn't get as much use in this project as I wanted to but I'm still glad to have spent extra time with it um, okay, so moving on, this NYX Butter Gloss, this is not the one from the original Project Pan. I actually lost that. I just put this in as a reminder to talk about it. So I had a NYX Butter Gloss and Tiramisu. This one in particular is Angel Food Cake, and that is what's on my lips. I lost Tiramisu. Um, I think what happened is when, after I did my Ips empties video a couple months back. I think I accidentally put it in the empties and threw it away. Um, if that's not what happened, I don't know because I've checked all my purses and bags and can't find it. And the crazy thing is when I put it in that project, I thought, am I really going to be able to hold on to a lip gloss for four months? The answer is no. Mm -mm, I can't. So I don't know if I'll ever find it. I love that color. I'll definitely repurchase it in the future. I like to have two to three butter glosses on hands because it's my favorite drugstore lip gloss. But yeah, that one, I don't know. <laughs> um, a product that I finished was the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. This is in 105 Classic Ivory. It gone, okay? I am glad I used it up when I did because the color is definitely a winter color and it is perfect. I'm like this white in the winter, but I used it up just in time for summer because this is too light for me now. Um, this is okay, hit or miss. It really depends on what products I wore with it as to how well it would wear, but it's another foundation out of my collection. Since I finished that one early on, I added in this one, which is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow 204 Natural Buff. I am not wearing this today. Um, this is like a little dark for me, but I can make it work at this point. As you can see, it's not, there is not a lot left. Probably a third if I were to like squeeze it out to see what's in there. I'm going to keep using this. It might not go into another project pan, but I would really like to keep using it and use it up within the next month or so because I'm not going to be this color for very much longer or be able to make this work for very much longer and it will be too old to keep it through winter and use it again next summer because it does have um, SPF and it is a, it expires 2018. 04 2018. So this expires April of 2018. So yeah, it will have 
gone bad by then, so I wanted to use it up while it is still my color and usable. And that product is very interesting. It has a lot of glow. So when I was using it with a brush, like I talked about in the last update, like I would kind of paint it on my face and then take my beauty blender and push it in. That way works, but sometimes it's like too much and it like gets oily through the day, which I have very dry skin, so for a product to get oily, it's kind of crazy. I've gone back to just dripping some drops on a beauty blender and pressing into my skin. That works well too, but it still makes me look oily instead of glowy. I'm not mad at it, but it's just funny. When I used that product once in a while, I really enjoyed it. But using it every day, it's like really because you just you really get to know products through a project pan like you get into a relationship you see how they do a primers setting sprays setting powders like you get the full thing okay <laughs> um all right these next two products um well let's talk about this this is the becca shimmering skin perfector in opal every time i squeeze this it's like it's it's last use, but then I'll try it again and get more product out. I think I probably have one more use in this, and then it's done. I really enjoy it. I can't use it with the Pro Glow because it's just too glowy. So I will have to um, pull in a different foundation that I'm painting that has, it's just more like a natural finish to use it up. Um, it is what I have on today. So the glow you see like right here is from this and the um, actual foundation I'm using is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, and this is in a different project pan, in my birthday project pan, um, and then obviously that it's a high glow from a highlighter, so, um, I think one more use and I'll be done, so, pseudo finish, maybe, and then the very last thing, it's the same thing, this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer potion this one is an original same thing every time I like squeeze it I think it's gonna be its last try and then I will open it again and I'll get more product out so it feels like nothing's in there and I really have to work to get the product out but yeah I'm gonna keep using it I'm gonna keep using all of these until they're gone so they'll stay out on my vanity um, but I have been working through so much makeup through these project pans. I'm just like so excited. Like looking at this, I'm like, mm -hmm. I see you. Not wasted, but used. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for watching. Please go check out all the ladies down below. I have another theme project pan going on. It's called Justice League. I'll also have that link down below. Um, and then I have a non-themed two non-themed ones. I'm just getting crazy over here, okay? But anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!